Hi guys, Top Pops here, and today I'm going to be doing a brand new Funko News. So let's get started. Okay guys, so if you don't know, Funko News is a, you know, a series that I do where we go through the newest, latest, and greatest stuff with Funko. And um, we, have a lot of, we have a lot of stuff that I want to talk about today. A couple things that I'm pretty excited about, some things that you could have ordered today. Just a bunch of really cool things. So let's start with, let's start guys with Funko Friday Holiday Edition at Target. So Target is doing a thing now where every Friday until the... 21st of December, they will be um, releasing a pop. And um, this week's was actually 10-inch Pikachu. I picked one up myself. If you guys want to check it out, as of me right now, as of 10.30 a.m. on the 16th, so the day of, guys, what you guys are watching this, um, Pikachu is still on the site. So if you guys want to pick this one up, you want to go for yourself, go check it out. Um, it is 30 bucks. It's not that expensive for a 10-inch figure. I know a lot of people really do like the 10-inch pops. Um, I'm a big fan of them, so if you guys want to pick one up, you can go for that. Um, so there will be a new release every week, like I said, and, um, you know, it says, like, coming soon. And we're speculating that next week's could either be 10-inch Green Goblin from Into the Spider-Verse or this newer character, which I'm not really sure his name, from uh, Wreck-It Ralph, Ralph Breaks the Internet. It's a new racer from Sugar Rush. Um, that one could be coming soon because they're also a pumpkin-ish kind of thing. And it says something about loves pump or, you know, was associated with... What, what, what was the thing that it says? Up next, this figure is packing some pumpkins and it's not because of his love of autumn. So it could be um, Green Goblin because he holds pumpkins or it could be the other one, which I'm not really sure his name... Um, but he is completely pumpkined out. He's got like, you know, like a little like uh, pumpkin hat and like an orange car and everything. Um, so that's pretty cool. It will be one of those two things. But you, got, you guys can also go over to Target.com and order a bunch of stuff off of there. They always have really cool stuff up. And 10-inch Pikachu is just another one of those things that's really cool. After that, guys, we have the GameStop Black Friday Mystery Boxes. So these are coming out um, next Friday. They will be $25. And although... Uh, there is a bag that you can buy that gets you 30% off collectibles. So what they do is they give you a bag and you can buy 30% off collectibles and you can put as many of those boxes in there as you want. They did that last year. And if you bought a bag, you would get 30% off and then, um, you know, you get everything cheaper. So that's cool. Uh, so you get that. And then so they're all retro themed this year. There's lots of uh, kids television shows. There's Pez inside of it. Um, there's Plush. Now, if you guys don't want to see what's inside of these, please skip ahead to this number right here. Um, now we can show them off. So the pops that we've seen so far is Wildcat from Tailspin. We've got Monterey Jack from Chippendale's Rescue Rangers. That is the first pop from Chippendale's Rescue Rangers that they've done, I believe. Unless there's that two-pack. No, that's a Kingdom Hearts one. So yeah, this is the first one from Chippendale's Rescue Rangers. There's also a Chase version of Monterey Jack where his eyes look kind of like, like, like he's been hypnotized. Um, we have this one here, which is Megavolt, and then a Chase Glow in the Dark version of Megavolt. Um, we have Max from the Goofy Goof Troops, and then there's a Chase version of Max too, where he's got his skateboard. Um, and then we have one Angela from Gargoyles. Now there also is a lot of other stuff in here, like Pez. They're doing the monster um, ad icon Pez, which is cool. Now it seems like every one comes with a Jerry plush, and I don't know why they did that. Why wouldn't they do a Tom and Jerry one? Like there's a 50-50 chance of getting either or. And then there's these little plastic stars inside of it, which I'm not really sure what they are. You can see it really well on the Max from the Goof Troops, but I can't tell what it is. Maybe it's like toppers for cakes or something like that. I don't have to, I'd have to see it next Friday when it actually comes out because I'm not 100% sure what it is. But yeah, that's the that's what we've got so far for the GameStop Mystery Box. Once it actually comes out, we'll be able to see a lot more about it and what's going on with it, but for now, that's what we've got. After that, we have a new t-shirt coming out for Fortnite. It is the Love Ranger Funko Pop t-shirt. I've got everything on the side here, guys, if you're wondering what I'm looking over. Um, and it's him, and it's Love Ranger. It says Flip Out, and it comes with a little version of Love Ranger, you know, like a little pocket pop. And in the in the actual shirt, he's leaning sideways. I think it's a pretty cool shirt. I like how it also says Fortnite on the sleeve. I think that's a good little added bonus to it. If they didn't have that, then I feel like it's kind of like, I don't know. It just makes the shirt look a little bit more official, and it's pretty cool. Um, not much going on with Target, though, besides that for the t-shirts. Um, I don't know if there's any other ones coming out. I would kind of hope there'd be at least two or three, kind of like they did with the... Um, Lucky Trips, Tricks Rabbit and Sunny the Coco um, the, from Coco Puffs. Um, but after that, guys, we've got Nickelodeon, Dorbs, and Pops coming out. So there are three coming out for Dorbs. There's Rugrats ones, Angelica, Chucky, and we've got 
Tommy coming out. So the three of them there, they're all going to be Funko Shop exclusives. Limited to 4,000 pieces. So it's going to be a lot. If you guys want them, you're going to be able to get them. Um, but yeah, that's that. And then we have Hey Arnold coming out as well as the Wild Thornberry. So that's pretty cool. We've got a bunch of those ones coming out. I like the way the ones look from Hey Arnold because there was the original ones from Hey Arnold. Um, and now they're making more of them. So they're making uh, Gerald and then they're making Spike from... Oh, wait. So there's only one from Hey Arnold. Sorry, I missed this. There's one from Hey Arnold. Then there's two here from Rugrats. So they're making Spike and Angelica as well. And then they're making Eliza... Nigel and Donnie from uh, the Wild Thornberries. And then here's the other Hey Arnold ones. There's two exclusive Hey Arnold ones. They're making Banana Arnold and Strawberry uh, Gerald. So that's pretty cool. I like Gerald's hair. I think it looks pretty funny. Um, but yeah, very cool um, set of figures coming out. I love the new um, Nickelodeon ones, especially like the older Nickelodeon shows. Like whenever they make those into pops, they look really cool. So uh, Now after that, we've got Funko at Designer Con, which is actually this weekend, guys. So if you are, uh, I'm not sure exactly where Designer Con is. Um, this year's Designer Con is in Anaheim this year and is taking place from November 16th to the 18th. So actually today, guys, is the first day that you're watching this. Um, We've got a couple cool things. Cereal Bowls debuting at De uh, Designer Con, but we'll be everywhere else later on. So we've got Marvin the Martian, Hong Kong Fooey, Rugrats, Skeletor, and then the Freddy Funko Bowl. So it comes with a special spoon with like a logo on it, and then it comes with a bowl. And I think that's really cool that Funko's doing this, because, you know, they wanted to do all cereal for Designer Con this year. So it's a cool extra little bonus for, you know, people who went in that. You get stuff early. Um, they're also making... Let me go through these here. We've got the Bear Bricks Funko Cereal. Um, we've got the Amazing Carlos, Hong Kong Fooey, Rugrats, Red Ranger, Skeletor, Freddy Funko, and then Marvin the Martian. They're all limited to a thousand, except for the Amazing Carlos doesn't have a limited on it, and the uh, Bear Bricks cereal has three thousand. And I think the Bear Bricks one is really cool because I love Bear Bricks. If you guys don't know, um, this is made by another company right here. I believe it's just Medicom Toy. It is, yeah. But they make Bear Bricks, and I have one here actually I want to show off. It's kind of dirty on the front. Um, my aunt got this one for me, and this is Andy Warhol, and I just love these things. I think they're really cool. I've had this one in the package for a long time. I've never taken it out, um, but yeah, that's the one that I have, um, and it would be cool to have the, ah, it would be cool to have the Funko one as well, um, because, you know, then I could have two, but, uh, yeah, there, there's that one. It comes inside the cereal box, and I'd want to take it out, though, is the problem, so I'd have to open up the box pretty nice. After that, guys, they're also making t-shirts. Um, they're making Masters of the Universe one, She-Ra, Captain Crunch, Quisp, Count Chocula, Lucky Charms, Flintstones, and Elroy and Astro Jetsons shirt. Um, so for the Jetsons one, it's limited to 600 pieces. So is the Flintstones shirt. Those ones come in like a special box that aren't cereal boxes. So that's pretty cool that they're making those. They come in like a TV box. Um, but yeah, very cool with that one. I, I like that one a lot. Um, after that, guys, we have My Hero Academia vinyls coming out, or one vinyl, and it comes with All Might and Deku, so that's pretty cool as well. Um, it's, it's a nice set. I like the way it looks. There's just a lot going on with these characters, and I don't know. I think they're pretty neat, um, but there's been a lot of stuff that's been announced recently. Um, I have another spoiler. If you guys are okay with this one, stick around, but if you're not, skip ahead to that time right there. Um, we have... Uh, the Lilo and Stitch um, box coming out from Hot Topic, and um, I know what's inside of it. We're about to show it in a second, but for now, we've got the Lilo and Stitch spoilers here. Um, inside of it, we have a tiki stitch, which is scented, so I'm guessing you'll smell something like pineapple or, I don't know, something like that, um, but it looks really cool, and I'm super excited about that one. I'm for sure going to need to pick up that box, and then we also have inside of it, uh, looks like a mystery mini, a pocket pop of Stitch to 626. He's got the guns in his hands. Um, we've got a magnet, it looks like, and then a plush of Angel. So that's pretty cool. Um, but other than that, I think that's about it that I wanted to talk about today. Um, if you guys... Oh, um, Hot Topic Girl went online on HotTopic.com yesterday. So if you guys want to go check that out, you can. Um, I ordered one, and we'll be doing a video with that soon. I actually ordered a couple things because right now on Target, no, not Target, HotTopic.com, there is a 3 for 24 sale going on right now. So if you guys are watching this video, you guys have like a couple hours left to do it. It's like a pre-sale. They're doing a preview thing. I got three pops for $24, and we'll be doing an unboxing on those later on. Um, as well, guys, Box Lunch is doing 3 for 24 as well. Or it's, no, Box Lunch is doing buy two, get one free. So if you guys want to go do that, that one's about, I think that one's $25. And then so they're doing it for 24 So depending on what you want to get, guys, whether it be a Box Lunch or Hot Topic exclusive, go check it out at each one. Um, they've got a lot of really cool stuff going on with that. 
But I think that's going to be it for today, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Also, if you have any information about newer pops or anything that I missed out on, let me know in the comment section below because that really does help out. You know, guys, go down to the comments, interact with people. That way you can get informed with more Funko news just than what I'm telling you. But this has been another episode of Top Pops. Popsters, thanks for watching. Thank you.